Hey, good morning, crew. <clears throat> What's up? How are we doing today? It is Tuesday, Tuesday morning. It's, it's like uh, about 25 to uh, 8. I'm going to class early. Hold your lane. I'm going to class early because uh, I think I told y'all last week that the, my professor had to fit in a little more, like an hour more for um, respiratory. Um, so she um, wanted us to come in at eight instead of uh, later. So that'll be pretty dope. Also, uh, we're starting uh, cardiovascular today. Um, and cardiovascular is massive. <laughs> Y'all, 150 slides for this one PowerPoint. 150 slides. What the freak? Goodness, when I opened up that PowerPoint and I saw 150 slides, and you know how sometimes some of the slides are, you know, like, fill no, no fluff, no filler, no fluff, no filler, all content. They split it up over uh, two sessions. So the first section is going to be on our first test, which is next Tuesday. Well, okay, so today I have a, I'm all over the place, I know it. It's early, I feel good though, but. So the first test that we're having of the semester, just in general, um, would be mental health, and that's actually today, this afternoon. Um, as far as Mad Surge, our first test for Mad Surge is on next Tuesday. I'm excited about it, but you know, I'll be spending the weekend studying and prepping for that. You know, just going back over my integumentary and um, respiratory and uh, what else? Oh, the first half of the cardiovascular. And then the second half of the cardiovascular uh, will be on the the next test so oh yeah so that's that but yeah mental health exam today I went to sleep pretty early last night only because I knew I was going to be waking up early and I woke up twice but the wake up wasn't like wake up I woke up because I was scared I was going to miss my uh, my lights coming on for some reason I'm always like that on um, test nights I woke up like three, and so I was like, shoot, I still got three more hours. So I went back to sleep, and then of course I woke up at like six. So I, you know, woke up at six and took me a shower, um, had me some breakfast, and, uh, you know, just, you know, prepared to go. I do, um, like I said in uh, last week's vlog that I will post, y'all you know, I'll put the link somewhere up here. Uh, I did, I am going to give some flu shots tomorrow at a clinic. I'm going to a clinic tomorrow. Um, it's a makeup for my clin uh, clinical, oh, that looked like that was a horrible accident right there. Uh, for my clinical, I am, um, that I missed last Friday. Well, I didn't miss it. It was canceled. Um, so, you know, we get to make it up. And my makeup is... I want to go ahead and get it out the way, get it over with. It's going to be... Um, at a flu clinic. So that is kind of dope. You know, you know how the prevalence of the flu has been. Um, it's been crazy. I mean, everybody is literally and figuratively dropping life flies. I mean, every sense of the word. So, 
you got to be careful because, you know, that um, the flu is serious. This, you know, the flu vaccinations are not that, um, are not that um, uh, effective this, this, um, this year. This person right here is being friendly, so I'll just keep riding. Then they have a tail light that's out. You see, my classmates have already had the flu, regardless. And you know, we're required to get the flu shots. And uh, a few of my people were required to get the flu. I mean, a lot of, a few of my people uh, got the flu shot and still got the actual flu. So, you know, I'm just trying to minimize the chances of me getting it because God knows. So I actually packed some um, hand sanitizer with me. Even though there's hand sanitizer all around uh, campus, I wanted to make sure that, um, I wanted to make sure that, um, you know, we could, I, you know, in case I sneeze or shake, cause I shake hands, I hug a lot, all that stuff. So I just want to make sure that I don't actually get it you know so that's my thing so i'm gonna go ahead and just ride out probably play some music um like i said it's not a test this morning but it, i do have a test later on so i will prepare for that and mentally just get prepared because i mean i've studied as much as i can study i'm not studying anymore and i will vlog in the car tomorrow uh uh, I guess on, either on my way to the flu clinic, I'll get some a little bit on my way to the flu clinic, and then I'll get some um, afterwards, so I can just kind of share my experience with y'all because this is all new for me. I don't think I've ever I've never given an actual injection to a real person. Uh, I've been uh, reading materials um, just to make sure that I am like well versed in administering uh, the shots. So yeah, I'll let y'all later. Peace. Okay, hey, what's up? So I am back. It's later on today, and I just wanted to pop in because I passed. Hey, so I um, had essentially two mental health exams today. I had one that was like over six chapters. Um, and then one that was over, like, one specific, the pharmacology behind all of that. So, uh, but it was two separate exams. Oh, man. I passed. I got two Bs, so BB. I thought I did way worse. I'm not going to lie. I really thought I did way worse than what I actually did. I passed. I did. I passed. I'm so happy, man. I'm so happy, so excited, so, you know, my, um, I know I still have a lot more to do as far as studying, but when you pass a first class, and then this is also a professor that I've never had in the sense that she, I've never had her as a like a main professor so it's just you know you guys know I don't want to say how I feel but my thoughts on um, mental health I like it I, I'm, I'm, I'm finding a silver lining with it and I'm finding a love for it um, but it's just it's it's one of those things that you really got to read the material. Um, so I had an older edition. And just to make sure I, I wasn't, like, missing anything, I went on ahead and ordered. Uh, this is the edition that we're using. It's the seventh edition, I think. Yeah, seventh edition. But it's the Essentials, Essentials of Psychiatric Mental Health Nursing and Concepts of Care and Evidence-Based Practice. So it's a pretty cool book. I love it. Um, the book is good. The online resources for the book, not good. So, um, 
tomorrow, like I said, I do have to, I'm going to go give flu shots. I'm going to carpool with some of my coworkers, I mean, classmates. And, yeah, I mean, we're just going to do that and get along with that. And, yeah, you know, I don't, I'm actually about to start winding down. But I'm so happy, you guys. I got a B in both, on both of the tests. Um, while I would have preferred an A, you know, beggars cannot be choosers. So I will take the B. I just will hit it harder next time. And thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I'm so happy. This is a good way to start off the semester. You know, this is the first test of the first exam of the semester, and it's good. It's setting the pace, you know. I do have my men, not mental, my med search, my first med search exam next week over integumentary, respiratory, and cardiovascular. So that will be interesting. I will probably start like really studying for that tomorrow. Um, then the next day I do have lab. We're starting trait care. No, not trait care. Foley. Foley catheters. So I'm going to go ahead and let this go because I'm about to chill and just relax my mind because the stress of just the exam and the lectures today, it just was, it's a lot. So I'm happy. I'm not resting on my laurels, but I am happy and I'm going to just chill um, because I'm going to be going to bed pretty soon. Um, and it's, it's not late, but... I have to start winding down because I have to meet at the campus at 6. I have to be there at 6, which means I have to wake up here at 5 and have breakfast and get showered and all of that. I mean, I could shower tonight, but I'm not going to. I, I don't know. We'll figure it out. But thank y'all for watching. I'll see y'all maybe tomorrow. Yeah, I'll just see y'all tomorrow because I want to let y'all know about this Um flu shots so i'll see you all tomorrow peace hey good morning crew i don't remember i don't think i vlogged yesterday so it's thursday and i am uh, on my way to lab uh we're starting foley foley catheter um but my whole point of uh i wanted to pop in because yesterday um i did my flu clinic I um, went to the flu clinic and I gave my first flu shots yesterday. It was so amazing. Um, I was on a university campus and this particular university has uh, like a uh, in-house clinic and slash urgent care slash, you know, primary care physician you know uh, they do a lot of the stuff that you might maybe hmm, if I, if I could describe it you know as far as the services that they offer I would and you know just you know, like those, what are, what are those things called? The public health facilities, the, you know, for maybe someone who doesn't have insurance or, you know, low income or, you know, whatever, those public health departments. It reminds me of like a public health department, um, but, I mean, nicer, you know? Uh, and when I say nicer, I'm not saying public health departments are necessarily bad but it, this was like a souped up public health department but it was only uh, serving the, the, the student population so and I want to say excuse me the allergies are messing up but this uh, particular um, this this particular university is like a really big college really big uh, school um, and all that good stuff so anyway I just wanted to kind of set the scene for y'all. Um, so yeah, if you if you think about a public health department where they have you know doctors' offices, immunizations, um, uh, 
women's center, uh, all those different things that they have, gear, you know, STIs, all that stuff, they treat it there, and it's for the students. Um, I want to say, um, I was asking questions uh, before we started the flu vaccines, as far as, you know, different things, and the, it, it, the tuition covers most of the services. Now, there are some additional services that just aren't normal services that you can purchase like a, 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 a school health insurance. And then if it's something that's a little more like serious, because they can cover a lot of stuff, but if it's something that's serious, you know, they do have the ability to um, to send their uh, students, refer them out to, you know, a specialist or something. Um, but so the first hour maybe uh, we were just observing because this was our first time giving flu vaccine and then like the first flu vaccine like they were like almost checking us off to make sure that we're able to give it because you don't patient safety is the most important thing anywhere you know uh, and if it's not you know it, it needs to be patient safety so um the uh, nurses were so gracious, so nice, uh, and I was super excited, man. It was so, it was amazing to um, be able to administer flu vaccinations, you know? Um, I was able to have some good conversation with some of the, uh, with, with all of the students, actually, because I'm not going to be sticking you in your arm and not talking to you, you know? So, um, we did do that. We, I gave probably 30 to 45 vaccinations, me, and we had, there were four different stations. So there was four different students giving, um, vaccinations. Um, I didn't, I mean, it was just, at one point there were just so many students in there because they sent out an, um, like an e-blast telling them that come get the flu vaccine because a lot of students were getting sick because they weren't you know abstaining from the vaccination and you had all these different reasons why students were getting vaccine uh, vaccinated you know this late in the game maybe you know someone that they know got really sick from it from the flu or um, maybe they had an internship that they were applying for and they had to have the flu vaccine I mean, there was just so many different um, reasons as to why the um, why they didn't get flu. Because I asked, you know, why didn't you get your flu vac vaccination back in uh, October? Because that's when the flu season starts. And that way you can go ahead and build up your immunity the earlier you get it. I want to say I got mine. I want to say I got mine in, did I get mine in October? I want to say I got mine in, whenever I got mine, it was before my second clinical started. So before the second hospital I went to last semester, before that one started, that's when I uh, got mine because, I mean, you don't want it to protect yourself. The flu is crazy and the flu hasn't peaked. The flu is still building um i saw a, um, a report on the news or something yesterday um about uh, the cdc is just overloaded with a flu you know it's very serious it's a very very serious um virus and I think people are always saying, not me, not realizing that, you know, it can happen to anybody. And the other, you know, there's a lot of reports going around saying that, oh, the flu is 10% or 20%, whatever the percentage is. Effective, that's better than 0%. Do you know what I mean? Um, so at the end of the day, Get the flu vaccine. It's still not too late. Go ahead and get the flu vaccine. Um, 
even if it's only 10% effective, that's a 90% chance that you won't get the flu as opposed to 100. You know? So, any way I can cut my uh, chances of catching the flu, I'm going to do it. Which includes washing your hands, constantly washing your hands, keeping your hands out of your nose and out of your mouth. You know, I know if you are a, whatever you do in life, nine times out of ten, you shake people's hands on the daily. Keep your hands out of your face, you know. I have a habit of that as well, so I'm not judging, I'm not throwing stones. I'm saying that it's something that I'm more mindful of. I carry my hand sanitizer with me because I don't want to be sick. I don't want to catch the flu. Um, I am not a person that does well being sick. I'm a horrible, horrible patient. Um, I call my mother and whine and, you know, to her because that's my, that's my mommy, so, you know. But I'm, I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog. I'm, like I said, I'm on my way to the lab. So I will uh, holler at y'all tomorrow. I have clinical in the morning, in the a.m. So I am, I'm already exhausted. I'm, go, I'm not going to lie to y'all. This week has been jam-packed with ex lots of medical excitement. But lots of medical, I'm drained. So I'm going to get a good night's rest because I have a 12-hour clinical tomorrow. So I will holler at y'all tomorrow. Um, yeah. Peace.